where you hurt, God will see you through. He'll take pain away. God wants to heal you everywhere you hurt. Everywhere you hurt, God will see you through. He'll take together give God the praise hallelujah to God hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah how many of you need a right now prayer 
How many of you need a right now healing? How many of you need a right now deliverance? A right now blessing? Hallelujah. God is going to heal you everywhere it hurts. Everywhere it hurts. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank God. We thank God for his healing. <laughs> we thank God for his healing. Not just physical, but mental. Come on here, somebody. Hallelujah to God. We thank God for his healing, not only of disease, but of the heart, of the mind. Oh, y'all like, oh my God. Hallelujah. And he wants to hear you. Everywhere it hurts. Everywhere. Glory be to God. And we just thank God. <laughs> we thank God for his healing. Woo, my God, my God. We thank God. Hallelujah for all things in the name of Jesus. We bring you greetings from Community Refuge Church here in Manalapin, New Jersey. Hallelujah where we believe in prayer and we believe that God will heal you with, right where you are. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. In every place that it hurts. We thank God for you joining us today. We thank God for you being with us in the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and you're a safe glory to God safe in his arms safe in the master's arms oh we thank God we thank God we thank God hallelujah we thank God we thank God we thank God we thank God for the city of refuge we thank God we thank God for healing power we thank God we thank God for deliverance power we thank God today Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God. Amen for all things in the name of the Lord. And I tell you, my, my heart just did a flying leap this morning because I just see some of my, my, my friends came in the house. The Jenkins family are in the house today. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for them. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, there's a praise in the house today. Oh, there's a praise in the house today. Glory be to God. We come to magnify him. We come to glorify him in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to go further in the service this morning. Amen. And those that have a prayer request, amen, whatever you want the Lord to do, put it on your mind right now. Put it on your mind and believe and trust God this day because he's about to heal you everywhere it hurts. Hallelujah. So, we're going to give God the praise today. We're going to thank and praise God for our Deacon Fitzpatrick even being in the house today. Amen. He's going to come and he's going to lead us in prayer. Amen. And then immediately following that, praise team is going to be up and run. So let's receive our Deacon Fitzpatrick right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I magnify you. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let every heart pray. Lord God, we thank you. And we honor you. We bless you, oh Lord, on this day. 
for your goodness and for your love, for your mercy, for your grace, for your compassion. We say thank you, oh God, hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, because you've just been so good to me, hallelujah. I thank you, oh God, hallelujah, for another opportunity, another chance to be in your house of worship, another chance, chance to be amongst the saints of the God. I thank you, oh Lord, hallelujah, because you've kept me. I thank you, oh Lord, because you've kept my mind. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, because you've kept my body. I thank you, Lord, because you've kept me on the highways and on the byways, oh Lord. Hallelujah, safely. Hallelujah, going to and fro. We thank you, God, for our home and for our family. We thank you, oh Lord, hallelujah, for our wife and for our children. We thank you, hallelujah, because we know that you are making ways, oh Lord. Hallelujah, we know that you are moving. We know, oh God, hallelujah. And because you've done it before, I have no choice but to believe, Lord, that you're going to do it again. Hallelujah. In every situation, hallelujah, heal my Father, oh Lord. Go down into Alabama. Touch him right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know the situation and you know the circumstance. Oh God, and I stand on you. I stand on your promises and I know, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, that whatever your will, oh God, have your way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And oh Lord, I want you to touch my grandmother, Lord. Touch her right now in the name of Jesus because she too stands in the need of a miracle, oh God, in the name of Jesus and I know that you're able oh God hallelujah touch right now in the name of Jesus someone oh God needs to know you. someone oh God desires to know you in a deeper more passionate personal way oh God and we pray that you would reveal your person yourself to that one right now in the name of Jesus have your way oh God hallelujah move in the hospitals touching the prisons oh God touching the nursing home homes oh God in the name of Jesus Lord God that you would have your way oh Lord in the name of Jesus someone needs an increase in their faith because someone is struggling right now to believe that you can do it. We're struggling to understand why things are happening, oh God. And I know you're able, oh God, to comfort them right now. Give them comfort, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Help them to know, oh God, to lean not on their own understanding, but to, uh, uh, to acknowledge you, oh God, in all of their ways, hallelujah. Oh God, I know you're able, hallelujah. Bless this place, hallelujah, in this day, oh God, today, have your way. Move here in the name of Jesus. Someone needs a miracle, oh God. Someone needs healing, oh God. Someone needs, hallelujah, assurance. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Have your way, oh Lord, hallelujah. Fill someone with the anointed gift of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, allow your anointing to destroy the yoke, oh God. Allow your anointing, oh God, to touch someone, to move someone. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Someone, hallelujah, would believe you, oh God, and trust you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh God, we give you all the glory and all of the praise and all of the honor that is due on your name, oh God, hallelujah. Oh God, help us, Lord Jesus. Help us, oh God, hallelujah. We need you, oh Lord, hallelujah. We need you right now, oh God, hallelujah. We need you, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh God, touch right now in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Remember those who have experienced and lost, hallelujah, hallelujah. Remember the Maxwell family, the Groover family, hallelujah, hallelujah, the Harrell family, oh God. In the name of Jesus, each one, oh God, you know who they are, oh God know the needs in the name of Jesus, oh God, and we pray that you would comfort them, oh Lord. Help them in this time, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, I praise you, oh Lord, because you've been good. I praise you, hallelujah, because I know that you are able, oh God. Hallelujah, I praise you, hallelujah. Oh, because you are wonderful, hallelujah. Bless the word on today. Bless our pastor, bless our first lady. Oh God, give them the desires of their heart, oh God. Strengthen them in the name of Jesus. Heal in the name of Jesus. Touch them right now, oh God, hallelujah. Oh, for the work that you have, oh God, for them to do, oh God, hallelujah. We know, oh God, that you are a keeper, oh God. We know, hallelujah, that you are a sustainer, hallelujah. And we trust, oh God, that you would keep them, oh Lord, in all hallelujah things. Hallelujah, I praise you. Lord, I thank you, hallelujah. I praise you right now, oh God, because you are good, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you, oh God. Have your way, Jesus. Move in the lines and the hearts and minds of your people. Touch us, Lord. Hallelujah. And help us, oh Lord, to be the light, the salt that you have called us to be each and every day. Help us to love one another. Help us to forgive one another. Help us, oh God, to be what you called us to be. Help us to know your word, oh God, so that we can testify your goodness and tell Hallelujah, all of the miracles and the things that you have done. Hallelujah, that souls would cry out, what must I do to be saved? Lord, we thank you. 
and we give you all the glory. Hallelujah. And all of the honor. Hallelujah. That is due unto your name. Hallelujah. We praise you. Oh, God, we thank you. Hallelujah. We praise you. Hallelujah. We glorify you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Oh, we worship you. Come on and worship him. Come on and enter in. Come on and enter in. Oh, come on and enter into his case. Come on and enter his gates, come on now. Come on and enter his gates, come on, come on. Make room for him, come on and make room for him. Come on and make room for him, come on and enter in. Come on, we bless your name, God. We glorify you, God. We magnify you, Lord God. We worship you, come on. We worship you, come on and enter in. 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 We praise your name. We praise your name. We praise your name. We praise your name. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. We came out to worship you. Enter in. Enter in. Enter in. Come on and worship my God this morning. Come on and enter into his gates. Come on and worship him. Come on, let's make room for God this morning. Come on, let's make room for God this morning. Come on, if he's done anything for you, come on and worship him. We're going down to the last Sunday in this year. Hallelujah. Come on and make room for him. This is the next to the last Sunday in 2022. Come on and make room for him. Come on and give him some glory. If he's done anything to you and for you through this year, come on and worship him. He done healed some folks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said, if you've been through, hallelujah, what I've been through, if you know what I've been through, hallelujah, you will praise him too, Lord God. Come on and worship him. Come on, come on. If you've been through what I've been through, hallelujah, if you only knew my story, you will worship him too. You will worship him. So we come out to worship God this morning. We come out to give him some glory because God has been just that good to each and every one of us. So the song said, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Lord, more than anything. More than anybody on this earth. Lord God, I bless your name. I love you more than anything. Hallelujah. Oh. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Thank you. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I worship and adore you. Oh, I just came to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Everybody, I love you, Jesus. I worship, I worship and adore. Bye. 
Hallelujah. The song says, I will give you all of my worship. Yes. I will give you all yes, my praise. Because you alone, I long to worship. Hallelujah. You alone are worthy. Hallelujah. Of oh, yes. my praise. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. And oh, I will worship. With all of my heart, With all of my heart, and I will praise you. I will praise you with all of my strength. With all of my strength, I will seek you. I will seek you all of my days. All of my days, and I will follow. I you I will pray 
I praise you, oh God. And oh, oh I will worship. I will worship with all of my heart. With all of my heart. And I will praise you. I will praise you with all of my strength. With all of my strength. Oh, and I will seek you. All of my days, all of my days, and I will follow, I will follow all of your ways, all of your ways. I will give, I will give you all my worship, Jesus, and I will give, I will give you all my praise, but if you will all, you will all, I long to worship, Jesus, I love that, you will all, you will all. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I hear the music. I can hear the words right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. And oh, Lord, you are. My shelter. Oh, Lord, you are my shelter. You're my peace in the time of storm. You're my peace in the time of storm. Oh, Lord, you're my way maker. Oh, oh Lord, Lord, you're my way maker. And I'll praise your name forevermore. I'll praise your name forevermore. Singing, oh, Lord, you are my shelter. Oh, Lord, you are my shelter. Yes, Lord, shelter. you're my peace in the time. Of storm. Oh, my peace in the time of storm. Oh, oh, Lord, you're my way maker. Oh, Lord, you're my way maker. And I'll praise your name forevermore. Yes, I will. Praise your name forevermore. Oh, Lord, you are my shelter. Oh, Lord, you are my shelter. You're my peace 
it's in the time of storm. No, not be in the time of storm. And all the Lord, your my way maker. Oh, Lord, your my way maker. In the praise and name forevermore. Yes, I will. Praise your name forevermore. Oh, Lord, you are my shelter. Oh, Lord, you are my shelter. Oh, you are my peace in the time. together give God the praise come on and give your hands together and give God the praise I will praise you forevermore and I can just shout hallelujah glory to God hallelujah glory to God hallelujah my God my God hallelujah there is a praise in the house today Hallelujah. And if you believe God, you ought to shout hallelujah. If you believe God has answered your prayer, you ought to shout glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God. My, my, my. We thank God for all that he is doing. Amen. And he's about to do. But Lord, we got to go further in the service. Glory to God. We're going to ask our sister Monique to come with our scripture reading. Matthew chapter 1. Amen. You have your Bibles. Open up your Bibles to Matthew chapter 1. Please stand in the building as we with respect to the word of God in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, church. 
Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise when, as his mother Mary, was espoused to Joseph. Before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And he shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoke of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, God with us. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Happy to see those of us who have, or those who have joined us this morning here in the house. Amen, amen. I am going to be before you very briefly to bring this morning's announcements. Monday, tomorrow, tomorrow is Mountain Moving Prayer. Mountain Moving Prayer at 7 p.m. on Zoom. Mountain Moving Prayer tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. on Zoom. So please join us, please join us for Mountain Moving Prayer. Tuesday, Tuesday evening is our hour of fellowship, hour of fellowship, Tuesday evening at 7 p.m., also on Zoom and Facebook Live. And this Tuesday's bishop will be teaching on the topic of the Christmas story, the Christmas story, this Tuesday, Tuesday evening, hour of fellowship, 7 p.m. Amen, amen. Next Sunday, next Sunday is Christmas. Uh, there will not be an education hour next Sunday. So service will begin at 11.30, 11.30, our usual worship service next Sunday, next Sunday. So again, no uh, education hour at 10.30. We will start service at 11.30 next Sunday. Amen. The last couple of weeks, I mentioned that there will be watch night service, watch night service right here in the sanctuary on that Saturday, December 31st. Service will begin at 10. We'll be going through 10 till midnight to sing the praises and praise God for his mercy and glory throughout the year. So please, if you're local, join us here in the sanctuary, tw uh, 10 p.m. this Sunday, Saturday, rather, December 31st. Amen. I say each week, we are a church that believes in what? In the power of prayer, wonder working, miracle working power of prayer. We have a list. We have a list of folks that we post on our Facebook page that are in need of special, special prayer. So as we continue to pray for one another, we ask that you also lift those up on our list um, with special, special prayer. Amen. Man, I believe that is it for the announcements. Uh, let's please welcome up Lady Rubin for words of encouragement. Lady Rubin. The song that is resonating in my soul is I really love the Lord. I really love the Lord. You don't know what he done for me. He gave me the victory. Just on today, he gave me the victory. I really love the Lord. Well, on this is the third week of the Advent season. On the first week, we talked about hope and promise. Each one had a theme, and it was hope and promise for the very first week. And it said, for unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, our Prince of Peace. And on the second week, the theme was preparation. They were waiting for the prophecy of Jesus Christ. And it said, a voice of one crying in the wilderness, John the Baptist, he was, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. He's coming. He was coming. And on this week, the theme for this Advent week is love and adoration. 
I really love the Lord. I really love the Lord. The scripture for this week is John 3, 16. And it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I want everlasting life. I got it. I got it like the Bible says. I received him. He sent his son to us, and I've received him. And he's coming back again real soon, real soon. So let us remember the hope that he gave us and then the preparation that he came. And this week was his love, how much he loved us. He cares about us. Let us love him back in this Christmas season. God bless you. Thank you, Lady Reuben. Praise the Lord, everybody, as we honor the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm so glad that Lady Reuben really loves the Lord because if she didn't, she couldn't handle me. It, it takes God's love to, to endure all that I put her through. Now, why are you all nodding your heads? Why don't you say, what is he talking about? But we are so grateful, so grateful, so grateful. And as I look around, uh, the people in the back don't know that in 10 minutes, I'm going to push a button and all their seats are going to collapse. One of the things the pandemic did not change is people love sitting in the back. Praise the Lord. And, and uh, those that came in after those that were in the back, they were forced not to sit in the very back because there were no more seats in the back. But we were encouraging folks, certainly those of you that have got adjusted of just watching on Facebook or Zoom or YouTube, uh, talking to our local folks, there's something special about being in the house of the Lord. Now, we made it even better for you because we switched to a new system. And uh, I was looking at my phone and it comes in clearer, it comes in sharper. And uh, maybe we ought to make it all fuzzy. So, <laughs> so you can't watch it as clear. But we're having a wonderful time here in the Lord and we're encouraging you. Now, I was watching as our youth director, Sister Danelle, was giving out toys to the young folks. And uh, those that are visiting, those that are guests today, we have something for you. Uh, and part of the reason we have something for you is Sister Chambers. Praise the Lord. She took a ride to Trenton. The bulk of our initial toys came from Meet the Need. And uh, Anderson family, they do a great job with Meet the Need. And Sister Chambers took a ride to Trenton, and I guess she thought she'd get a handful of toys. She came back with a truckload. I, when I mean a truckload, I mean a truckload. I, I sent a picture of what she came back with to a couple of folks and showed those that were here, and they all said the same thing. Wow. Sister Chambers, you did a fantastic job in gathering all of those toys. Now, as I'm talking about toys, next Sunday is Jesus's birthday. And we're going to be here celebrating his birthday. But I'm asking everybody, those that are here in our Zoom followers or Facebook followers, I want you to give Jesus a gift next Sunday. Yes, you know the way that we give our cash app and PayPal and uh, mailing address and all of that. But I'm asking all the members and all those that follow us, if you would be so kind to just a special gift next Sunday, you can go online and do it. Let's say to Jesus Christ, I appreciate all that you've done for me. You know, when you celebrate a birthday, gifts are a part of that. Gifts are a part. So we want to make a special statement to the Lord. So I'm asking you, and they'll post all the different ways that you can give. I know I said it, but they're going to post it on Cash App. Our, there we go. All right. All the different ways that you can give. Now, while the praise team was up here, um, you saw 
an additional person come to the front. And uh, some of the community refuge folks don't know who, who's this man just bogarting up there and trying to take over up there. But, but that's not really what was happening. Uh, I'm telling his children, I met your dad when he was younger than each of you. I don't know, he was eight or nine years old. And we were ministering at his, I'll say his grandfather, my friend, Elder Jenkins uh, Church, and he received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God gives utterance. Now, he's an excellent teacher and preacher and singer. Uh, he's a little bigger than he was at nine years old. I'm not talking about weight. I'm saying he grew up. He grew up. He grew up. He grew up. So we're going to invite Elder Jenkins to come and to greet us. If he wants to sing a song, he can do that. Uh, won't you come on up, Elder Jenkins, and have remarks. Now, I'm telling you, come on while I'm talking, that he was nine years old. He's just about caught me in age. Just about caught me because as I tell him, I'm just maturing. Some of you all getting older, but I'm just maturing. Do we have a mic for? Yes, he has a mic. Praise the Lord. He's going to tell him what song. All right. How come they never ask me what song I'm going to sing? Praise the Lord. All right. He knows Brother Arnold well, as well. Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, praise the Lord. It's good to be back in the presence of God with familiar people. Brother Reuben, you said you had a song in your heart. I'm going to do my best to sing the song you have on your heart. Um, this song says, I really love the Lord. If you love him, can you help us sing it this morning? I love him. I really love the You love him, sing it with us. Oh, I really love the Lord. You don't know what he's done for me. He gave me the victory. Oh, I love.
on and clap your hands in the come on and clap your hands and give him glory or you can do better than that clap your hands and give god praise from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same god is worthy to be praised the song said you don't know what he's done for me but i know what he's done for me and that's the reason i can give him glory it might not be public to you but it's to me i know i remember when i was down and out and he saved me i remember when i didn't have a dime and he provided for me i remember when i was sick in my body and he healed me you might not know oh but i know and when i think of the goodness of jesus and all that he's done for me not for you but for me my soul cries out is there anybody here your soul is ready to cry out to god hallelujah to the lamb of god is so good to be in the house of god glory to the lamb of god ah yes lord yes lord yes lord we give honor to the spirit of christ ah yeah and to bishop reuben and to mother reuben we thank God for you. While times have changed and some things have changed, one of the things I appreciate about the Rubens is they never change. Oh, you can clap your hands and give God glory. Hallelujah. And we're grateful to be amongst family today. We praise God for you. I believe that God has a word for us on today. I, I miss Bishop Rubin's preaching. So I came to hear a word from the Lord. Did you come to hear a word from the Lord? Come on, why don't you stand to your feet and receive the pastor of this house, Bishop Rubin, as he comes. Thank God for you. While we're standing, let us go before the Lord in prayer. And I just have a feeling that God has something special. Not just wonderful, but something special to do in the lives of his sons and daughters today. Those of us that are here in the sanctuary, I want you to lift your voice and tell them thank you. And not just the words but a statement from the Spirit. Lord, I thank you for what you're about to do in my life. I thank you for the healing, for the deliverance, for the salvation. Whatever the need might be, Father, in the name of your Son, we say thank you. We say thank you to a God that has been so good to us. We say thank you to a loving, caring God. Let thy Shekinah glory rest upon us. Oh, we thank you for your spirit, for your anointing. But somebody needs a miracle. Somebody needs your touch. But Lord, even as I say somebody, I'm thanking you as you put your hands upon that man and upon that woman. Bind everything that's not like you and let your Shekinah glory come in in a special manner. Oh, Lord, I thank you for the touch. I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for the songs that I've heard, the words that have been spoken. Let thy Shekinah go her bless this day and give us an ear. Give us an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Before you sit, I want you to point to two or three folks and tell them something good is about to happen. Something good. Then I want you to touch yourself lightly and claim it for yourself. Something good. Well, oh, I feel like praising him a little bit. Something good. Something good. 
in Jesus. And God bless you. May be seated. Looking forward to having Elder come back, preach to us. He's a good communicator, and God uses him to share his word. Luke chapter number one, verse number five, as we were going to, we will begin reading. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia. His wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking and all the commandments and ordinance of the Lord blameless. And they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren. And they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that why he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course. According to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled. Fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. I want to use for thought something that might catch you off guard when my prayer is not heard. Did you ever hear the expression that perception is stronger or greater than reality? Each one of us has gone through situations in life that it would appear to us, my prayer is not going to be answered. My prayer has not been heard. It's not going to happen the way I wanted it to happen. Any honest folks out there ever go through that? Lord, I prayed and I just knew you were going to bless I had my shouting shoes on, my praise song ready. I was by the telephone getting ready to tell everybody, God did it, God did it, God did it. But yet in the midst of my excitement, my anticipation, my expectation, nothing happened. I did everything that the pastor told me to do. I told the Lord, thank you. I believed that you were going to do it. Each of us goes through those times that while we're waiting, while we're anticipating, it just seems evident it's not going to happen. When we look at Zacharias' life, we know that occurred to him and Elizabeth because he tried to convince Gabriel, I don't care what you tell me, it's too late. Just look at my wife. She's well stricken in years. Now, he did acknowledge that he was old, but look at my wife, well stricken in years. He was trying to tell Gabriel, 
you must be mistaken. You must have been sent by God to somebody else because it just cannot happen. He didn't go into a whole dialogue, but he could have. We were a young couple. We wanted children. We wanted a son. And we asked the Lord. We walked up rightly before him. We abided in his word. Let his word abide in us. And we asked, we asked, we asked. We even got the blue paint for his room. We were looking for a son. We even bought the toys that he was going to play with. We had everything all ready. But nothing happened that year, nor the next year, nor the next year. Went from youth to almost being middle aged and thought, well, God is still able. But nothing happened. It's challenging in the life of the saint when they deal with this thing called waiting. And when waiting starts speaking so loudly, shouting, it's not going to happen. And we go through those times. When we listen to what makes sense, we listen to logic, we listen to common sense, and we just say, it must not be the will of God. How does a person determine what is God's will and what is not God's will? First of all, it must abide in the word. The Lord is not going to make you the number one bank robber. Not going to happen. Praise the Lord. It must abide. It must abide. It must abide in the word of the Lord. One of the other things that we must recognize, there are our prayers and there are the prayers that God places into our spirit. We pray things that we desire of the Lord, things that we want from the Lord, and God gives us many of the desires of our hearts. But there's some things we ask for that are not connected to God's will or not according to God's will. And he pushes those aside. But when the Holy Spirit places a prayer inside of you, oh, you ought to shout hallelujah. When the Holy Spirit puts a prayer inside of you, there's something different about that prayer. It's different to you. It's different to those that might be around you. And surely, it's different from the Lord himself. Scripture that tells us when God's word goes forth, it cannot return void. It must accomplish the very thing. And I'm confident that when Zacharias and Elizabeth prayed, it was not just their prayer, but it was the Holy Ghost praying through them. But there's something else that plays in to the reality of our lives. Something that's difficult to grasp, difficult to hold on to, but it's a reality. God's timing is different from our timing. I want what I want now. It's not that God doesn't want me to have it, but I, one might not be ready for it. It might not be the right time for it. But God's timing is always perfect. God's timing always comes to the fulfillment of the prayer that he gave you at the right time. Something else that we struggle with must understand that God works through us to bless others. God works through your life to let you shine, to let you receive, to let you be a blessing to others. He doesn't just bless you so you can flex your spiritual muscles. Doesn't just bless you so you can tell, look and see what God did. He blesses you that through humility 
And through his will, you can bless multitudes. Praise the Lord. When I listen to those that are so gifted and musicians and singers and technicians and greeters and all that, God gave you that gift that you might bless others. But here's Zacharias and Elizabeth. And I don't know at what age they finally said it's not going to happen. But you know what they did? They went on with life. I'm still going to love him. I'm still going to praise him. I'm still going to magnify him. And I'm still going to tell everybody, God is able. God is able. God is able. They went on with life. The Bible speaks to them as being blameless. The Bible speaks to them as taking hold of the commandments and, on, and, and dotting every I, crossing every T. They never became bitter. I try to tell folks when you become bitter with somebody, it eats you up. And they go on with life. Praise the Lord. You become so upset. You become so involved with emotions inside of you. You can't sleep at night. But they're on that pillow just snoring away. Get up the next day and go on with life. Bitterness, bitterness. You got to learn how to just cast it aside because it eats you up. But Zacharias and Elizabeth didn't do that. They went on praising and worshiping and loving and doing those things that God had ordained for their lives. Now they thought the prayer had not been heard. Now the part we like to look at is when Zacharias was there doing his job. Incense burning. And all the folks outside praying. He is all by himself in a place where nobody else is allowed. I want you to picture this with me. You ever been home all by yourself? No one else is in the house, just you. Can you imagine if all of a sudden, here comes somebody talking to you? You'd faint, won't you? I tell you, we'd have to call the, the meds. Here's Zacharias. He glances over right by the burning of the incense. And here's an angelic being. Speaking to him, Zacharias, thy prayer is heard. I've struggled with that verb, is. Trying to figure out, did God just hold the prayer to the right time? Didn't respond to it to the right time? Or maybe it should have said, was heard. But either way, God held that response to the prayer. And you know what I'm supposed to tell somebody? Your prayer has been heard. You, you've given up on some stuff. Somebody wave your hand if you're one of those folks who've given up. You got no business giving up. The same God that put that prayer inside of you when he gets ready. Somebody ought to say that with me. When he gets ready, he gets ready, angel going to come to your house. Don't you know angels go make visitations? You, you might have entertained an angel unaware, didn't even know about it. But angels make visitations. And God speaks to his word and to his spirit. Maybe I can find somebody who was down and depressed one day and, and somehow the Lord just spoke to them. And said to them, don't you remember I made you a promise? i never leave you. I made you a promise. I would never forsake. I made you a promise. Do you think I could take my promise back? I'm not like man. Man will tell you whatever he wants to tell you. That goes for women too now. Tell you whatever he wants and, and then do it 
whatever he decides to do. We have to learn how to deal with this waiting thing. It's this time when we think that our prayer has not been heard, not going to be answered. Looked at Facebook today and man was dealing with the same issue. He said he got to learn how to laugh at Satan. Had to learn how to tell the devil, you think you can get me to stop believing that God's going to do it. But I know God too well. Anybody know God well enough? Know God well enough? You, you might still be in the growing stage. You still might be getting closer, but you know well enough. When God makes me a promise, it's got to come to pass. I've got to go through this and go through that and, and wait longer than I want to wait. I'm still saying God is going to do it. Well, I need to find somebody that got enough faith to claim something. I've got to find somebody that know God gave you a Holy Ghost prayer. You weren't even trying to create that prayer. Anybody ever experienced that? You're praying for A, B, and C. And all of a sudden, you hear the Holy Spirit praying for something much different that even crossed your mind. God was telling you, I'm getting ready to send a miracle. I'm getting ready to take action in your life. I'm getting ready to do something. Praise the Lord. And when God starts doing that, you ought to get a hold of that confidence and assurance and place it inside of your spirit. Forget the intellect. Get it inside of your spirit and tell yourself, I don't care what the devil tells me. I don't care how many counters go from 23 to 24 to 25. God said he's going to do it. And I'm not only going to expect it to happen, but I'm going to praise him right now. I'm going to thank him right now. I wish I could find somebody that got enough faith to know that if God gave you a prayer, doesn't matter what the devil says. You can just stand there and tell the Lord, I know you're going to do it. I got to find the Zacharias that maybe tried to push off. But the Gabriel told him, look, Zacharias, God is going to bring forth this child called John. And he's going to be the forerunner. He's going to be crying in the wilderness about one that comes after him. And many are going to be pleased. I don't know what God has in store for you, but he got something wonderful. I don't know what his plans are, but if he said he's going to bless, start shouting the victory right now. If God said it, you can start praising him and magnifying. Can I find a witness in the house? If I can just see you wave your hand. If I can just hear you say thank you. If I can see you lift your voice and tell Jesus Christ, I thank you. Oh, praise him with me. I thought my prayer was not heard. I want everybody that's been in that situation to stand with me right now. Those that might be in it, even right now, I want you to stand with me. Lord, I thank you. I got a call last night when my husband and his wife is wrestling with this cancer demon. The doctors had given her a good report. And then they try to add something. And every time the enemy gives us a bleak statement, it seems to push away everything that God has told us. But if God told you he's going to bless, he's going to bless. I want to pray for those that have health issues today. I want to pray for those that are wrestling with health issues. I'm going to put my mask on and you can wear yours. I'm going to anoint you. I'm going to pray for you. 
Come on up to the front. Those that I'm going to pray with. Just come on up here. Lord, I thank you. Doesn't have to be a physical health issue. It could be a spiritual. Just kind of separate from each other. A natural. Emotional. It could be a little bit of this or a little bit of that. But God is able. Lady Ruben, could you help me please? I need somebody that loves the Lord well enough to pray with me. Lord, I thank you.
soul is resting. It's just a blessing. I'm going to be asking the church throughout the month of January. Tuesday is our normal prayer and fasting day. I want us through the month of January every Tuesday and Wednesday. But as I pray for those that came for prayer, I can't wait to January. Starting this week. Encouraging all that would to join me in prayer and fasting. Each Tuesday is a regular add Wednesday to it. Because some things take prayer and fasting. Praise the Lord. And I'm looking for miracles. And I believe in miracles. I pray for my friend, Fred. Fred is one of the more impactful evangelistic partners I have. You didn't know that. We would go door to door in freehold. People knew they was under in the bishop. And uh, well, that was his street name. My street name was Bishop. And they knew us. They knew us. They knew us. And if somebody wanted a miracle, wanted a prayer, they said, Fred, get in touch with Bishop. And I'm seeing that coming back to life. Now his lovely bride, Abiria, raised up in the church. Her mom is a staunch Christian child of God. And the word is in her. And I just picture this. The two of them helping me share the word of God. You don't need a title. You don't need. And, and Fred, why don't you just testify about how folks, this was reality. This was reality. This was reality. And I'm looking forward to God. He's a restorer, right? I think I preached about that last week. He is a restorer. Abiria, God has wonderful things just waiting on you. Praise the Lord. And your mother has prayed many prayers. You tell your mother, I said, thy prayer is heard. All right. Those that have your offering now, next week I'm asking you to bring your regular offering and a gift for the Lord. Come what you have. Those that are giving online, next week we're asking you to not only your regular giving, but let's bring a special gift for Jesus. Someone gave me this dollar. Put it down there as well. And the Betterman family asked me to pray for them as well. Add them to the list. As a song is being sung, Elder has asked me to pray for me, has some things with his eye, and we're going to anoint and pray for him. Let the song continue. Please keep the Robinson family bereavement and the Brett family. Bishop Brett, Bishop Brett, Bishop Brett. Those are looking at me. 
uh, Keisha's children's father transition. And the Brett family, Bishop Brett, wonderful man of God, he transitioned. And you know what? We're going to keep one another in prayer. And our benediction will just be this song. Come on. For he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to the king. For he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to our king. For he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to our king. For he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to the king. For he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to our king. For he is the king of glory. Give him glory. For he is the king of kings, give him glory. For he is the king of glory, give him glory. For he is the king of kings, give him glory. For he is the king of kings. All hail to Jesus.